Okay, here we go. Looks like we're starting with Brian. And there was that time you got caught peeping in the ladies' locker room? Okay, move the towel. Move the towel. Ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, move the oh, towel. They spotted me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> That's a quality sight gag. <laughs> Get it? Sight gag? Because it, the part of it that was funny was when you see the big reveal, plus also his sight, because he's looking through. Uh -huh. <laughs> the humor <laughs> the humor just gets deeper and deeper. That was good. <laughs> oh, they saw me. <laughs> okay, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Mm. I'll be Charlie, and you can all be my angels. Except you. You'll be Bosley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he called me off guard. I was ready. <laughs> I was ready for an obvious joke about her being far too large to be one of Charlie's Angels. But Bosley, for those of you who didn't watch the old Charlie's Angel series, he was that, that little short, stubby, stocky guy who was like <laughs> the Angels' boss. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they go, That's not fair. He went the wrong way. If I, I had that figured out, if it had gone that way, I had a chance. It's your fault we have so much crime in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. Good call. Ruining our Jesus society, Christ, that's not a bad idea. Insane. Fuck it. No, it's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't even... God damn it. Oh, that counts. <sighs> shit, it caught me up so much, and why the hell was he saying something so fucking stupid that I completely forgot I was supposed to be trying to suppress that laugh? Shit. Uh, well, okay, uh, you'd think by now I'd have the rules of the game down. <laughs> Who the, why is he? <laughs> I don't, uh, there's got to be more, as I say, there's got to be more to that than that, why Peter would call them all out with something so ridiculous, but there doesn't have to be more to it than that. That's Peter. I'm not doing well. Cock fight. Look at the mustache. The original chicken fight? <sighs> His little tiny chicken dance was cool too. So that, that's that got to be a chicken fight that predates the legendary chicken fights, no? Yeah, it's got a history. Careful, Joe! <laughs> I like Joe. Oh. oh man. Oh, that one that one's actually like <laughs> it feels like it's putting a hole in my stomach holding that one back. Get some That's one of the reasons I like Joe. You you can picture him doing stuff like that. And Patrick Warburton is one of my all time favorite actors slash voice actors anyway. Look at this, Lois. See right here. I was voted most likely to succeed. Peter, that's not you. That's not even a yearbook. That's a People magazine. Oh. I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. <laughs> I wonder why they had the wrong picture and name. Now that goes back. Remember how I was um, justifiably upset when People magazine again last year didn't uh, pick me as sexiest man alive. I should, <laughs> I think Peter's onto something there. They did. They just had the wrong picture and name. <laughs> Happens. The editors didn't catch it. Hey, Lois, give me a penny. You're not going to throw it over the edge, are you? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Is it? Is that true? All the cops in New York? That was the Empire State Building, right? Huh. The cops down there that I met seemed to be pretty solid. They didn't seem like Russian nesting dolls. Work of art or container of crazy purple knockout gas? The hell is this situation? This isn't familiar at all. Yeah, of course. Of course. You, you you could sense that one coming, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that all right. I'm wondering what that situation was, because it was obviously an art show of some sort featuring all Peter all day. 
Oh, those goddamn Ernest movies. Ernest doesn't go to the beach. We'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> what? Yeah, that that's brutal. I mean, what sort of high-quality top-end comedy are you going to watch? That? Oh, I hated those Ernest movies. Whew. They were so stupid. And I like stupid humor. But to me, those Ernest movies, I watched a couple of them, or at least bits and pieces of a couple of them. They weren't. They were stupid humor without the humor. Uh, 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 you don't care. Hey, Frenchie, is my fort ready? Yes, Mr. Griffin, even though no one else has any pillows now. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Nobody else has any pillows now. <laughs> okay, that's where Peter and I would have to separate. The fort, cool as fuck. Good idea behind it, one hundred percent. The no girls allowed just <laughs> just stops you from joining the Mile High Club, or even if you're already a member, extending your membership. Yeah, extending your member. Hi, Cookie. No, no, actually it's Stewie, but well, you you can call me Cookie if you like. Yes, I, yes, yes I've also been known to answer to Artemis, Agent Buckwell, Artemis. and Snake. Yes, yes, I I rather like Snake, Snake Griffin. Oh, that tongue. Yeah. Snake Griffin. Yeah. That wasn't... Wasn't there a, a badass in the movies named Snake? One of the Kurt Russell movies or something? Escape from New York or L.A.? Or ah, I could be way off. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane has safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their Cuba. way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> I... Uh... <laughs> I honestly never thought of that, but that's right. There's a lot of similarities between old Fred and Wilma and, and Peter and Lois, a fat man with a red -headed, hot red-headed wife. God damn. I, didn't, I never realized Seth was being that unoriginal with his character design. <laughs> Jackie Chan, Cab 302. Oh, taxi. Thank you very much. If they'd have cast Jackie Chan as Latka, I, I could have gotten behind that. Although I liked Louie. Oh, if it was going to break his neck, I don't want it to be in his first episode, though. Thank you very much. That was a great show. I like Taxi. Oh, they got to wrestle. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Why do things like this never happen to me in this store? Oh, yeah. See, our stores around here suck. Probably all you guys have run into that, and I, I never have. Oh, that made me happy. The Great fuck? party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Carr. Oh, James Conn. Make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> in fairness, he he did tell him to make himself at home. Oh, that was brutal. Jesus. <laughs> oh, old Hollywood. This is crazy. You walk in here with your chisel Whoa. jaw and you... Oh, I did oh see th this. I don't remember I the scene. I remember him being Jack. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> I remember that scene specifically. I remember him being all jacked up. Though, well, again, my memory. <laughs> you bastards come into our village and kill our fish. Oh, jeez, I fucking hate water. Steven Seagal. I really do, you guys. Belong. Come on, seals, kick the shit out of him. That would be awesome. I wish the seals would kill him. Fight him. Ah, oh, Steven. Oh, I never could stand him. Didn't he end up moving to Russia? I think he did. We're sorry, Russia. <laughs> Talk about something that would ruin relations or make them worse. Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, 
No, he's gonna, he's, <laughs> he's gonna steal his clothes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that makes so much more sense <laughs> than just going back there and reclaiming the ones you had just taken off. <laughs> well done, Peter. <laughs> Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's gonna happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. Okay, that one I got by, all right. Oh, shoot, we're almost, okay, we're about a minute and a half left, okay. Let's do it, let's do the run for home. Now, here's where I'm just gonna let them go. And again, if I get laughing, it's gonna, I'm gonna really destroy my average, because once it gets rolling, hmm. I'm toast. <sighs> no Chris, stops. The way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and Correct. lick it. Oh. Now you. Well, most of that's true. Well, then, then, then what about that graph on the wall that says the first thing we want is to get kids to start smoking? That? No, oh, that's just something my son made me in art class. Huh. Well, then, then, then what about that post-it that says the graph was not made in art class? We really do want kids to start smoking. But, Peter, why would they make you president? Well, maybe it's because I can recite all 50 states in a quarter of a second. <laughs> <laughs> he endeavors to score by dashing between the creatures, provided the wicket keeper hasn't whipped his bales off, of course. Did anybody get that? The only British idiom I know is that fag means cigarette. Well, someone tell this cigarette to shut up. <laughs> Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information regarding the suspect should contact Quahog police immediately. Tell the cigarette to shut up. Which is why I'm going to drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. <laughs> I, I needed that for wrestling. <laughs> what are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. Cleveland! I mean, cheez -Its. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> 